Immediate past, Commissioner for Information in Delta State, Charles Aniago, says the smear campaigns against the immediate past governor of Delta State, Ifanyo Kora, were being sponsored by individuals who have bruised themselves with a struggle for control of resources of the state and a failed to remain in power. At the news conference in Asaba, Haniagu said the campaign of defamation against the former governor commenced in the build-up to the 2023 governorship elections in the state. In spite of the enormous resources that is generated from these oil-producing states, you are just entitled to, first of all, only 13% as derivation, while the rest is made available for the rest of the country, because we exist as a country called Nigeria. Oil producing states are not taking the hundred percent because the government of Nigeria will have to run, pay salaries of even those who are from oil producing states who are working at the central government, great roads that will link up oil producing states to non oil producing states, provide other facilities such as electricity to both oil producing states and non oil producing states, provide security both internal and external to both oil producing states and non oil producing states. Now you need to also cascade that to what happened in oil producing states where you have oil producing communities. If you decide that 100% of the resources that they manage from the resources that are drained from oil producing communities will be restricted to oil producing communities, then how are we going to now link roads from both oil producing communities to non oil producing communities? We will meet them wherever they want to meet us, but we will not lose sight of our desire to protect our people, which is what they are against. As time progresses, we will remind them that those their leaders who are sending them are funding them do not mean well for the state. Because if they did, by the time they had the opportunity of presiding over the affairs of this state, they would have forced their development across the length and breadth of the entire state. Asaba, the capital of the entire state, remained as a glorified local government area for the period that they were in office. We brought a whole lot of difference. And if that difference is what is making them feel uncomfortable, we ask them to repent and embrace modernity. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.